Episode two. We ain't got a title. We'll figure it out in post. All right. The bro. sequel. The sequel. Oh, we pack. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to click record now. <laughs> All right. Y'all ready? All right. Three, two, one. All right. I think we're good. I think we're we good. We live. You really we call this the sequel, you. though, and I, I discuss, I, I despise the that sequel. for some reason. <laughs> the sequel. That's so weird. But I mean, I guess, whatever. It's episode two, so that makes sense. Um, welcome, guys, one and all, uh, to The Skill Tree, a gaming podcast. Uh, we are your humble hosts. You know what I mean? You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you are here with us. We appreciate that for sure. I'm LJ. I'm here with a couple of homies. Jeff oh. left. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Oh, Jeff no, moved I'm his camera. Here. I'm still here. <laughs> Look at Jeff Finesse here. and the duck the shot. It's crazy. <laughs> like, I I'm can't recalibrate the Wait. bullet. It's crazy. Wait, what just happened? Uh, your camera turned on. Your camera's not okay. here, bro. Okay. You good? There we go. You good? Okay, All yeah. Right. Your boy, your boy Jeff, <laughs> a.k.a. <Mouse>? Ghoul Face. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Let's go. We're doing it live. <laughs> We're doing it live. Yeah, oh. live, live and direct. Coming at you live and direct. Man. from the gutter you know what i'm saying that's why my camera turned off because my my signal down here in the gutter ain't that good oh, is so that what that is we here you yeah did. that's what that is <laughs> i didn't know that's what that was Poor okay. good one. now that we know now that we know and it makes sense <laughs> you doing good jeff how's everything in your way man pretty good pretty good you know what i'm saying right. um pretty pretty chill weekend oh actually i have i have some news so I finished near Automata. Hey, finally! <laughs> I got yo. I hold got, on, hold um, on. Let's introduce Paul. I'm coming back to you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey go ahead, Paul. All right, and this is Paul. All right, so Jeff, you finally <laughs> finished <laughs> near <laughs> Automata. It's crazy. <laughs> like I'm glad. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, Paul. Oh, I ain't gonna rob man. you. I ain't gonna rob you, bro. What's going on, bro? Hey, man. You know. I... It's been a great, it's been a cool day today. I won't say great, but it's been cool, man. Yeah. I've been, you know, I'm off work. I'm fresh. I'm yeah. solid. Gotcha. Gotcha. Your room like hot for some reason. No, no. It's actually cold. That's why I got Okay. I got you. I got the hoodie on because my shirt is wrinkled. I also don't. Never mind. <clears throat> <laughs> Never mind. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeff, nope. you, fi- you you finally beat near, like yeah. So the like e, the, like yeah. the E ending. I I got ending D. Um, so you're not done yet. I mean, yeah, there's still more endings to get, but like I'm done with the playthroughs. Like you just have to play the game three times, and then you just go back and like make different choices. You're not done yet. Hey, that sounds like a finished game to me. It's not. The credits, the credits rolled and everything. But yes, hey. I, I technically beat the See, game. But I have. There are more endings to get, of course. There's the final true ending is ending E. You're not oh, finished really? yet. So, okay, I did read about the endings. Okay. All did right. you have? Did you have an option but, to delete your game? To delete my game? Yes. You're not finished. You are so. not finished. Okay. We'll come back. Okay. You are not right. finished, sir. It is a reason right. that game is top five for me. You have not got there yet, sir. Uh, I mean, yeah. either way, I ain't even realized how close I was yeah. to the end. Because like oh, I said, I first. played it on PC. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, like I, I was on Play 3 3 and then bought it on PlayStation. And then it just started all the way over. And I was like, right, wow, right, I was right. actually kind of close. But like that last boss fight was... That was some heat. Yeah, you know. And I will say, I thought playthrough B was unnecessary. I feel that, right? That makes sense because playthrough B is when you're as him, right? You're the you're, yeah. Okay, you're I his 9S. Name. And you're nine S, right? Yeah, I thought that yeah. too. And then the way they crystallize everything for the end of E, like just. Okay. It's been, it's I mean, only, yeah, it's I'm, been a couple of times in video games ever what I've like felt like at the end where I was just like, yeah, stand and clap moment, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Prince of Persia original series, like the Sands of Time, and then the second game sucked, but the third one, the way they tied it back to the beginning, was fire. Mm-hmm. 
I was like, mm. oh, this is what you did. Okay, this was crazy. Like, I loved it. It was really dope. Um, Nier was one of those moments. Every moment I've had in Ori, like, th when you get towards, like, a conclusion or, like, some type of chase, like, first time experiencing it um, mm -hmm. in the Ori series was like that. Um, it it's some games that's, like, really high on my list of things like that, and that that's one of them. That's one of them for sure. I can dig it. So, for sure. Anywho, so... Y'all want to y'all want to get into this? Uh, y'all got anything else y'all want to say? What how y'all feeling? I we mean, can, we can get to the smoke. We, we got some stuff. Uh, we can get to the smoke. I'd save a bunch of money by switching to Geico. That's not true. No, you didn't. You don't have the paperwork <laughs> to prove that, sir. I, I just, I just, I just. I yeah, just let's disagree. get into it. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so hey, who's leading off, man? Let's get to it. Hey, man, let's get straight to the smoke. Listen, Xbox took yesterday to say, let's reveal some stuff, huh? <laughs> let's let's just get to revealing, right? <clears throat> what did they reveal? Pricing changes. They upped everything. And I mean everything. That's everything. No, no. Everything? Yeah, everything. And, bro. Well, except for, like, Game Pass. So, initially... <laughs> Which was the, the point, yeah. It, 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 exactly, it was the point. But, so, for those uninitiated, Xbox Live, nine ninety nine is your base. Um, one month gold subscription. And it goes... Nine ninety nine, fifteen for three months, and then thirty for six months. Something weird like that. And I want to say yeah, it's like one like month, that. fifteen for three. Uh, and I'm, I want to say maybe I think it's like, like twelve for three months. I might need to check it real quick just to make sure because I want to get. I, I know it was sixty for. It's sixty six for months. the year. Yeah, sixty for a year. Well, yeah, yeah, sixty for a year, but. With the no, upgrade. no, no. It was it was sixty for six months. Well, no, no, no. That, it that's, was... what the, that's what the um the price change that they introduced. It was gonna be sixty for six for six months. Okay, well, let's not get yeah. too ahead then. So initially yeah, yeah. what you were saying was Xbox so they revealed the price, yeah. Yeah. So okay. they revealed their prices their price changes and they basically doubled up on everything. More specifically, they doubled up on your six month and your yearly, your annual pricing. So instead of the thirty for the six months, you're paying sixty. Instead of the sixty for the year, you're paying one twenty. At that right. point, bro, in the course of three years, you could save enough and buy a Series S. Man, I'm not for, doing it. Three right? years, bro. Like, oh my bro, god. Bro, anyway, like, imagine what you could do with. 120 just paying that out of pocket just for it's crazy right so initially everybody was just like oh look, look at xbox users they're getting ran they're getting their pockets ran and you know psn it's still what it is they don't have to pay for playing free to play games online and you know they were making the comparison with pc same thing right so then the thing came out that oh if you're an existing three uh six month or yearly subscriber you don't have to pay the price increase and everybody was like well that's still not good but we knew what they were trying to aim for they're trying to get more people to get game pass ultimate which great investment 100 percent. like i agree great investment you get all those games you get ea play you get Games with games with gold. You, you get, get every Madden right? ever released on Xbox One. Every you last do, one, bro. You do get that if you play Madden. Madden twenty five. Um, eh? Same yeah. game. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. We gonna not, we gonna talk <laughs> no. about Madden making this co same copy and paste games and updating the roster and bro. being like, hey, one added new animation. We'll they talk about it one day. It's fine. Are you ready for some? <laughs> nah. <laughs> you ready for some football, tripping, bro? <laughs> for some football, uh, I'll take the back seat on that one. <laughs> nah, I'm good on that, bro. <laughs> um, so, obviously, this everybody was enraged, right? Even people that weren't playing Xbox, even people that are like devout PS4, PlayStation users, they're like, "This is stupid. We're getting you're getting your pockets ran. It's a pandemic. It ain't a pandemic." I'm sorry, it's not a pandemic. I didn't see pandemic <laughs> once. I did not see that one time on my timeline. 
Your timeline is way more ignorant than mine. I didn't see that. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so lo, lo and behold, what? A few hours later, Microsoft maybe, says, maybe a few yeah, hours. Yeah. Honestly, bro, it felt like thirty minutes because they were getting, <laughs> they were getting cooked at light speed. Uh, that was a hyperbolic time chamber day. <laughs> like, bro, they were getting. Bruh, I went and ate lunch and fried. came. I went and ate lunch and came back, and they were like, "Hey guys, we messed up." All right. <laughs> they were like, really? like, it was yeah. Golly. Xbox reversed that stand so fast. So quick. maybe realistically, maybe like five hours, maybe. Yeah, honestly, they they really hit you with the the Steve Rogers turn around the chair. So. You want to play? <laughs> you want to play double play? <laughs> and so now, instead of instead of just reversing the pricing, now they're like, "Hey, you know what? We heard you. We're also making it free to play for any of the Apex Legends, Fortnite, those types of games, um, Warzone, any of those that are free to download, free to play. You don't have to have Xbox." in the xbox subscription to play them and you can just get right in there and get to it and they're going to be updating that somewhat soon but it was just interesting to see how quickly it got real for them man <laughs> jeff what you can't yeah, agree because good reason for the know that saturday bro <laughs> they they applied pressure so fast like i've never seen so many xbox heads immediately say no nah, y'all bugging like just I've like I've seen like and it's some cap on this app on this Twitter app, bro. Like it's some <laughs> some serious cap, and I, I, like in unison, like even yeah. even like diehard like staying accounts and stuff that I like follow every once in a while and stuff like that. We're like, nah, this is mm-hmm. a dumb decision. Y'all are this is stupid. Mm-hmm. This is stupid. I'm gonna get a PS5. <laughs> you know, like you know. if you can. Yeah, if, good luck finding. Let it. me know how that goes. But yeah. no, uh, just get the GameStop <laughs> bundle for nine hundred and ninety eight bucks. Yeah, you can't get a bundle with it. GameStop, Costco, whoever, they all got bundles. Yeah, just, they ain't got no bundles. just the system, just the bundles. Yeah, pandemic indeed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Jeez. What do you think about everything that happened, Jeff? Like, because that was a wild five, six hours. So, yeah, that was that was definitely wild. Like, I'm, I think I woke up to that news that the prices were going up, and I was like, what? why would they do that like why that's so like anti-consumer they really want to force people to force people to game pass ultimate like i mean yeah game pass is dope really good investment but i'm sure there are plenty of people who don't necessarily want game pass they may not have you know that type of internet set up to get game pass so like you're forcing those people to have to pay that extra money when they can't even experience Game Pass. Like, it just wasn't a good look at all. And then tell, uh, on top of that... Jeff is from huh? Alabama. You can tell you're from Alabama like I am because that's an actual thing that you have to worry about in certain parts of Alabama. It's just not having good internet to play online gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And then on, on top of that, not being able to play free-to-play games and you you actually needed that xbox live uh subscription to play free to play games so mm-hmm. to see them go back on that and then change the free to play stance so like th- like it was needed it was definitely needed so that they really needed this blowback to actually change something so i'm i'm glad they went back on that and now people can experience and uh apex rocket league whatever free to play game you want yeah. to play on xbox I think uh, no hassles. I don't know, man. It's it's. Ah, I don't want to say this. I I think the idea was noble, like it was it was noble intentions as far at first I thought, uh, mm-hmm. as far as them wanting to just get people to get Game Pass Ultimate. Like I feel like we can all agree that they wanted to push everybody towards Game Pass Ultimate. Um, mm-hmm. For those that don't know, and if you here, you should. But just in case you don't, Game Pass Ultimate gives you the option to download lots of games for free as part of your online membership with Xbox Live. Right? Um, but that's the interesting thing is that they have so many games that they add every month. And I mean, it's really a good deal. Like, it's great. But a lot of times, some people really want to just pay that $9.99 a month and just get internet. 
so that they can play Fortnite or whatever it is these kids play nowadays. So with all of this happening, sorry, that was shade. That came off a of shade, right? Fork knife. Fork knife. Did you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, you don't you don't crank three sixties, bro? You don't touch my hall, bro? I don't crank nothing. You don't crank, I crank that. that soldier boy hey, back bro. in ninth grade. Hey, you remember that Lion King? Oh man. You remember the Lion King? Oh yeah. my god. The Batman. Hey, the bat. Oh, hey, crank that Batman, Batman. still is like hey. one of the hardest. Like, <laughs> that, like just I know we on a tangent, but like that was nuts. <laughs> like I was a kid. Like you can't do it. Like I can't. Like I was like I was hey. there. I was hey, there. no, crank that Spider Man was kind of crazy. Well, I, yeah. just, I, I enjoyed what an the era. Movie. You know what, what an Superman, era? Man. Yeah, just snap music <laughs> and long white tees, bro. Like it was crazy. <laughs> I might had to pay nothing for my clothes. I was good. It was different. <laughs> <laughs> at all, bro. I was out here all of shaking by pulling the shirt. Like I was getting it, bro. Like who you gonna y'all like, who gonna check me? Huh? <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> no, but oh, oh man, man I'm but, weak. But that's but the the idea was noble. I get what they were trying to do, but I think as with a lot of things that gaming companies do, they look at they look at a select like group or a select uh, niche of people and try to cater everything to them because they feel like those are going to be the people that buy everything. And mm-hmm. usually when stuff like that happens, it, it leaves a lot of people like just kind of scrambling, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm glad that the blowback worked because I don't yeah. think if this was a blowback, let's say Sony did this, right? Or Nintendo. Oh, or Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo don't care about oh, fans. Yeah. Like they've been they've been they've been rough on fans for me. Like they just got to the point where they were like, you know what? Third party development is okay. Like Nintendo just got there. And, and it literally took someone dying. Sorry, Paul. I had to say it. Um, I know. Yeah. I, 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 I'm looking no shocked you let it go. Yeah. Especially but hey, Well, first you know. pod I was gonna say it, but I was, I he was like, chill. I'm like, you right, you right, you're okay, you're correct. <laughs> but that hey man, is, take that jack, you know. Hey man, hey, my Twitter handle is K1NGELJY. <laughs> Y'all know where to find me. At me. Hey, at <laughs> me with it. Let's let's have a conversation. Let's start a dialogue. What Charles Barkley say? Oh, um, we're gonna have a dialogue. I hate that they do voices so well. That bothers me. Um, but no, nah, but that was Listen. the thing though. I just. I think the idea was intent, like was was noble, but like just they didn't they didn't think that through. And I'm just glad the blowback worked, because I keep yeah. thinking of issues or uh, incidents where if it was something else, where it would not have worked. So and that makes me uh, that makes me think about um, there there was a podcast I was to, listening to the other day talking about how um xbox they still require double a batteries for their controllers Mm -hmm. so lj when you were talking about like going for like a niche amount of people (laughs) yeah you got the rechargeable (laughs) so it's real there there was a there was an interview like not so long ago with like an executive and they were like we there's like a niche amount of people who would prefer using the double a battery. So we want to give our consumers a choice. And I thought that was interesting. All right. You want, you want to go first, Paul? (laughs) (laughs) I'll put it this way, man. If we didn't have to use the double a batteries, I would not be on my, I think this is my third battery pack. And I'm not even using the double A's, but it's the fact that I have a battery that I can take out and put back in. The battery's going to die. Like, the battery's going to get old, and I'm going to be forced to have it stay plugged in. Because this is why I have the issue with, I always, if I don't put someone in the charger, it's a wrap. I'm not playing (laughs) games that night. (laughs) <laughs> I, <laughs> like it's over <laughs> bro i just i don't get because because playstation all they have is just hey you can just recharge the controller and then go yep. about your life mm-hmm. and if you have any issues and like if you have I, I think most playstation controllers come with a warranty so you have an issue within a year if you keep your receipt you usually can go back and get another one pro tip by the way um 
So, Xbox? Yeah! yeah! You know, yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Probably not. Unless you get that Elite controller. Because it comes Which is great. With, yeah, oh, it, it oh, comes oh, with the. Look at you the flexing. Thing, look so. at you. That's crazy. Look what he just yeah. did, though. Look what he did, though. <laughs> Like first he had the microphone that's like the same color as his shirt. I noticed that, by the way. It's right I, I actually did not mean to it's do right that, there. but you know, it's, it. it's, 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 it's happening. Oh no, that seems intentional. Yeah, to me, seems very intentional. <laughs> nah, don't laugh like nah. that at me. <laughs> so why are you laughing like that at me, bro? That's creepy. What you doing? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 nah, but over, uh, but overall though, I'm glad that they reversed it. It could have been worse. Uh, I'm just glad that uh, Twitter united on something uh, for a change. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, anything? for sure. Y'all got anything it was, else? It was kind of dope to see. I see a I see a comment from the chat really quick before we transition, and I see that uh, it was Kip Steadwell. He said they thought they were Apple for a minute. Hey, man. <laughs> mm. Mm. Strong take, sir. You're not wrong. You know what's, you know what's crazy, though? <laughs> but, like, in comparison, the Apple One stuff makes way more sense than what they were trying to do as far as, like, getting people to basically forcing them into getting the Game Pass. Like, Apple One makes sense because it's like you get Apple TV. If you have an Apple TV, you get the subscription. If you have a need to get the extra cloud storage you get that you get the access to apple music like you get access to everything if you have apple it's like all right that makes sense for me but i understand if you're not an apple user how that can look but most of your stuff is right there like it so it just makes more sense you know what's weird you know what's weird for me for apple though is that apple even though they have a lot of products they offer in-house right they're still not accessible for you to be creative and do stuff, period, right? Um, I've always, the way I've looked at it, I've always thought that, like, if you had to do, like, an Android versus Apple comparison for game systems, that Microsoft is Android and, and Sony is Apple. Like, I've always thought that, um, especially with Xbox letting you, like, they were one of the first to let you plug in your USBs and all this stuff and just go, you know, um, initially at first PlayStation was really big as making sure that it was something that was hosted by them, you know? Um, but no, nah, that was just the way I've always thought about it has always been like that. That could be a little bit wrong, but that's just how I've always viewed it. So that kind of makes sense to me. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. So All right. y'all want to keep rolling? Let's keep it rolling. Let's get it. Roll out. All right. Well, next thing got Ubisoft returning to in-person events with their uh, latest Rainbow Six Siege event. Um, this is interesting to me because last week we actually just talked about Capcom canceling Capcom Cup and mm -hmm. effectively, okay. you know, especially considering they were going to do it in a country that was way more controlled as far as, like, pandemic. So mm -hmm. for Ubisoft to be doing that, it's just... We're in a really weird space with consumerism and them trying to make sure that, hey, we're missing out on money. We need to figure something out and we need to figure out something fast. Like even last night, um, UFC, they were actually advertising um, Las Vegas. They were going to have UFC events again. And mm. it made me really think to myself, like, man, the fact that we're having in-person events given the set of circumstances that we're still currently in is just mind numbing. Like what about what is going on right now and how bad it's getting is cue to say, Hey, you know what? Let's make some money. Let's bring some people out here. Let's make them sign waivers and you know, whatever happens happens, but we're going to get that money from that door fee and that capitalism. Hey, that capitalism at its finest. Capitalism for sure. Like, jeez, bro. And like, even some of the games today, the NFC championships and in football, it's like you see a stadium almost filled to the brim with people. Like, I don't 
care what it looks like on TV. I'm looking at that and I'm seeing in every road is somebody there. So it's just it's baffling to me. And I don't know. I know we're kind of on the same page with it, but wait, what y'all think? Uh, I don't think it's needed, man. Like you were saying, we talked about uh, Capcom canceling their in-person event. I can't remember what country it was in, but um, I know they they were trying to do like a bubble type thing, kind of like the NBA did, but they decided, yo, like pandemic is not going anywhere for a while. So let's just let's just go ahead and ask this. And now Ubisoft in the same uh, Capcom, they were actually going to do their thing in February. And now Ubisoft is doing their thing over in Paris in February. And it's just like, like, why? Why are y'all that desperate to put money over people's lives? And uh, like, I remember reading the article, it said um, they will test all the players, you know, every so often. And if somebody like tests positive, but they have like they're asymptomatic so they're not that bad they can sit in a hotel room and um, yeah they can sit yeah they like <laughs> <What>? their symptoms <laughs> their symptoms not that bad they can sit in a hotel oh, room God. with a, a doctor on standby and they can compete from there on their computer and i'm just like why <laughs> why can't why can't y'all just have this entire thing just remotely in the first place you know, you know why? Because people got that Op Alabama connection. You feel me? Like, where they came. <laughs> know what I mean, um, <laughs> hey, hey, it's, a, it's a tree right there, bro. It's killing in, it. Uh, it's killing it. That's crazy. But I'm just thinking from the perspective of them being in the hotel room. Y'all know yeah. how hotel room internet is. Right. <laughs> right. Man, high right. speed ain't high speed, bro. I mean, you gotta get like you gotta get like the workers connection, like the ones that they bro. use. You know what I mean? Like, like, you get the, what's the password for your five G? Like your your employee stuff. The one y'all use to watch security cameras. I need that. I need that. Um it's this is weird to me. Uh but the only reason it's weird is because I thought it would have happened sooner. <laughs> Uh, cause no one cares that we're in a pandemic, bro. And I hate that. Like, it's just, it's been, it, I think the one thing that they can actually enforce safely if they do it properly is games because you don't have to be right next to someone in order to play a video game. You can have Bluetooth, right. you can have large, large, like 10 foot courts, whatever the case may be. The yeah. issue though, is when people try to, you know, do extra outside of that, you know, but in this particular case, what I'm thinking is, um, people playing division what 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 game is this siege yeah yeah, yeah see people are playing siege competitively people are playing siege competitively so that that's what's yeah. up but i'm just surprised like they're the first people like i thought it would be like call of duty or something like that you know what i mean or like I league of legends Codden, for sure or, or like lol or mm-hmm. the valorant you know what I mean, or something like that, mm-hmm. something big. Yeah. I mean, I guess technically siege is. I don't. I don't see siege tournaments. Period, bro. I'll be honest. Um, so I'm not sure how big of a of a thing they have. I mean, even in this article, it says you can contribute to the prize pool, which tells me it's not as big as other games. I could be wrong. I could be misreading that. I doubt it. But yeah. So it's it's, it's pretty. It's fairly big. I've yeah. watched. I've had my Rainbow Six Siege days where I used to follow like the tournaments and everything, but uh, it, it's pretty big because like um, you pointed out the the pot, you can contribute to the pot. Like yeah. that's that's how like Dota and League of Legends do it. Like, oh that's really? How okay, okay. So, so that's just me not knowing. Yeah, that's, that's my ignorance. Huh? Yeah, they. That's why they have like so much money for the for the pots like yeah. Dota, the international tournament. Like it's huge every year. Like it, it's all like community based. Everybody that plays, you buy skin. All of that like goes towards their tournaments and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, I'm uh, shout out to you saying international like Pimp C. That was fire. <laughs> <laughs> international. I'm like, hey, uh, let's go. <laughs> nah. So that's interesting. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know siege tournaments were like that big. Um, and even I see a comment here from Travis says siege tournaments are international, where international teams going against each other. But it's not like 
Counter Strike go big. So that makes sense. Mm. I get it. If it's international, then of course it's got to have something. So that's just my ignorance. I can I can take the L on that. I ain't know. So, but yeah. Um, I think that's really everything on that. It's just weird. I I really just wish people would stay home. Take this seriously. Wear a mask. Seriously. Wash Man. your hands. Yeah, it shouldn't take a pandemic for you to realize that you're nasty and go wash your hands, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, it's just you're not lying. Now we know why the bubonic plague killed so many people. Right. Mm. <laughs> so many folks are like, I just can't believe what happened while like, scratching their butt. Like, it's crazy, man. All right, you want some chicken? Like, <laughs> just, I, I just need things. I just need us to be great. That's it. I just want. I just want everybody to be great. That's it. And it just seemed like we don't want to be great. So, I don't know. But um, yeah. So I guess that's it. All we got for that one. Um. <laughs> All right. Well, so, we got uh the old Resident Evil Village up next. Oh, let me let so, me uh, let me mark this. I'm ready. Oh, uh, what'd you say? I said let me mark this real quick. Okay, I got it. Go ahead. I'm ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. So following up last week, you know, we got the announcement that there was going to be a Resident Evil showcase. Mm -hmm. Um. This week said showcase actually happened and uh we got to see a little bit more on resident evil village um ethan ethan winters i think that's his name returns he was the the main protagonist in re7 yeah. uh he is he will be going into that spooky house to uh mansion search for his kidnapped daughter and um which means he had a daughter with the chick from the last one What's oh, wrong I, with him? Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Why did he I, I stay? Had, had play three, seven. But yeah, so sorry. Was just, there was, was a, a very interesting point brought up. I was watching kind of funny on Friday, and um, they I can't remember her name, but they had a guest host on there, and she was talking about how that's like a white people problem because like if my child got <laughs> got kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> and was in this spooky haunted mansion that's my child's problem like i'm gonna call the police or something i'm not trying to go save that child myself like like what's, what's up what, what's going on here? <laughs> hey hey bro i wasn't gonna say it because we just announced light work but we here <laughs> so Ain't no way this would happen if this is a black character, dog. This is <laughs> I can't wait to watch Maximilian dude play this. It's going to be great. I ain't touching it. Dude. But <laughs> it looks incredible. Like, but nah, honestly, the detail in it looks like ridiculous. But yeah, that's that's white people problem, bro. Come on, you know. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah. But yeah, the game looks incredible. They're, um, it's got some Resident Evil 4 vibes in it for y'all. Y'all seen that? Have, have y'all played Resident Evil Four? Yeah, that was my okay. favorite one. That was my okay, favorite yeah, one. That, That's the first one, Re, that I actually played front to back, like on my own and beat. Mm, like same. Like even with the zombies, and, you shoot them with the SMG and they like they go like lip, 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 like <laughs> fire. Ten out of ten. Oh so yeah, they're they're bringing back the um you know the inventory system. Like you got like yeah. the suitcase. And you gotta like it's like Tetris. You gotta move all your stuff to make it fit. So they're bringing that back and putting it in in Resident Evil Village. Yeah, that's so it's cool. pretty dope. That's cool. Um, for unfortunately, they did not mention that Resident Evil Four remake. But yeah. uh, I saw an article earlier that said that development yeah. on that has been restarted. So we probably won't get that till like 2022, 2023, something like mm -hmm. that. But uh, other than that, oh, wait, there was one more thing they announced. The oh. Resident Evil Reverse, which is a new... What is that, like a battle royale? Like, what is that? <laughs> that looks nuts. I didn't know I, what I was looking at. I, I, I think it's like a maybe 4v4, 5v5 or something. But yeah, it's, it's a multiplayer game, which is really interesting. I don't know why they keep making these. I guess they make enough money off of these multiplayer games parts because resident evil 3 had um oh, yeah the um, i can't remember what it was called i can't remember what it was called either but it was the one where you 
four of you were like kind of fighting off zombies, and then I think one of them. It was the multiplayer for um. Oh well, the zombies. What you talking about? Something different. Resistance. That's what it was called. Yeah. yeah, that was trash. Uh, and yeah, I, I <laughs> no lol. I did not hear face. it was it was bad. Good things about it, and you know they had, I think one or two other multiplayer games before that. But yeah, it's really weird they keep trying to cash out on these multiplayer games. But um, yeah, there's that, and they also dropped the PlayStation Five demo that same day. I played it. It it's it's short but it's really good the detail is insane and uh like everybody else on twitter i'm thirsting for those evil vampire women oh no like it, it was hot okay One of them, hot like take. she appeared right in front of me in in front of the door i was trying to go through and she came at me and she bit me and i was like i that, think that i know what sexy. you're talking about yeah that was sexy yeah. i ain't gonna lie so yeah, what what uh how you how you feeling, Paul? I know you don't like scary games, but you know, how you feeling? I about mean, it? listen, you know what's crazy? I actually watched um I watched Max play the demo. And when I watched him play the demo, it was like super late at night. I was like, mm -hmm. um I don't think I should be watching this like this. Like it looked <laughs> like it looked like nowhere I wanna be. <laughs> the cellar, and then I saw I saw a body drop from the ceiling. I'm like, "Hey, yo, don't show me no more of this." Please, he said, don't thank show you. me no more of this. Please and thank you. you and know. like, I, so here's the Bro, thing: man. I didn't see him initially play it on stream. Um, actually, I popped in like at the very end, right when he ran into her. Um, but I didn't see everything leading up to that, right? So. Mm -hmm. Ooh, buddy, I actually saw <laughs> the lead up as well as the scary beginning. part. Yeah, the lead up was, the lead up uh, was nuts. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, them, them, them is bodies in them burrows. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know what that was behind that the the wood door or whatever they had barricaded, mm -hmm. but buddy sounded like he was about to snap somebody neck. Yeah, I, nice all of it was just very unnerving, and qu quite frankly, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm not I'm, I'm good. Listen, <laughs> if we watch that, if I watch that again, I'm watching it with the homies, and I'm in Discord checking in every couple minutes. You know what it is. <laughs> don't don't expect me not to check in. I'm checking in. <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh. That's not me. It's not me. I watched it. Um, I saw it with Max, like at first, but like, I don't know. Max has really high unrealistic expectations for Capcom games, so, so yeah. he like as soon as the demo was open, but I just I, he went into complaining. And I'm just like, I I get it, Max. I get it. All right, let me go to somebody that's gonna enjoy their play. So I watched two people <laughs> play this demo. I watched Corey Kenshin play it. Hilarious. <laughs> if you haven't seen Corey Kenshin video. I that, 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 he's a fool um and then i watched spooky play it and spooky took mm -hmm. like a long time to just kind of look at everything so i was able to actually get the the environment and what they were setting up and of course me and alicia watching the spooky play through together and immediately she knew what was happening because i guess she reads history books way more than i do which is fine uh which me you know so immediately she was like oh they draining their blood in the barrels and i'm like huh what <laughs> for real and then they showed they showed the arm and i'm like oh and then she gave me the history story on it so that's depressing that they took from actual history from this it's actually based mm -hmm. out of something you got to talk to her about the details i don't know all of it i just know <laughs> it makes really good video games i guess um and so <laughs> watching that uh and then seeing like the tone shift as soon as you went out into the mansion yeah that tone shift it went from like okay this is demonic to like yo nothing feels safe here yeah. <laughs> like like this is all pretty why it, can't i see myself in the mirror i don't like that you know, <laughs> like, just... crazy? you know what it reminded me of it reminded me of um in re2 when mr x was introduced and you had to worry about him around every corner it was like that but just like from the very beginning 
that it that's gave that me that feeling, that, that foreboding. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, where well, it's just like yeah. you can't quite you're always being shake watched. it off. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, and then yeah, but it, it seems like it's setting the atmosphere up really well. I'm really yeah. curious what's going to happen when they start introducing um, like outdoors and whatnot. Because mm-hmm. if you re- if uh, the playthrough I watched, because I didn't play, I don't have a PS5, so I couldn't play it. But mm-hmm. um, the playthrough I watched, they were reading the notes and everything, and it was it was a specific mm-hmm. note where one of the girls was like a maid or whatever, and mm-hmm. they kept going through the details of like day one, day two, and day three. And day three, she tried to open the like crack the window. And then they were like, no, shut it. And, then, and she was like, I think they're going to take me to the cellar. I think we're going to die. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And that was the last mm-hmm. note. So e. that was the one that I had seen being read. And I was like, huh? Yeah. What's going on with that? Yeah. Especially because it looks like it's it's snow, right? It's like a snow supposedly, castle. Supposedly. Allegedly. But like, I mean, a little bit that we've seen in the trailer, they've shown like, they shown like it looks like it's like cold, but I don't know if it's like yeah. snow. You yeah, know what I mean? mm-hmm. uh, okay. it did give like a very cold vibe. I don't remember seeing snow, but okay. like yeah, hmm. I got you. I got you. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting though, seeing how everything goes. And it seems like everyone is pretty excited for to see what they do with the Resident Evil series, especially yeah. since they still they still haven't shown Ethan's face. Now uh, they're still not really talking about mm-hmm. what's happening with Chris. Redfield. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, we don't know what's going on there. Um, and of it, course, it Ethan seems like yeah. maybe Chris helped with the kidnapping. Yeah. People are saying because, like, there's yeah. there's one like cut scene where he has the baby. Yeah. Or something like that. And that's what yeah. I had also kind of seen, and I was like, hmm. yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of nuts. Um, yeah. So best of luck to them and their family. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be fun to watch. <laughs> So a great Netflix series when it's done. Great Netflix series. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool. Speaking of which, uh, that Resident Evil Netflix animated thing is out, actually. Is it out, out? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I saw it pop oh. up. Okay. I will check that out. We'll, I will, let's put a pin in that because I want to come back like after I watch a few. I got to finish Yu Yu Hakusho. I'm, I'm still not 100% done with it yet. I'm at, I'm at the Fair. chapter black. Actually, now that you wild. bring that up, they did show off a little bit of the Resident Evil Netflix series and it takes place a few years after Resident Evil 4. Y'all saw that. Hmm. So after the good Resident Evil, but before Chris gets superpowers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause yeah, I remember when Chris got superpowers started like punching rocks and everything in five and six, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that guy man warded out of his mind. Yeah. <laughs> kinda of, kinda of crazy how he just warded off the apocalypse by himself without guns. Anyway. <laughs> But these guns, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw, he said, "You'd be uh, seeing stars, all right." <laughs> <laughs> I saw uh, oh, Travis. Oh. Travis I on it. I just said it. there was um, the Umbrella Corp game and Operation Raccoon City. Those were the other Resident Evil multiplayer games. Yeah, but they so sucked. I, you know. I, I guess they're, they're making good. money somehow. You know what I'm saying? Like the Resident Evil movies, they won't stop. Can't can't stop, won't stop. They got that Mila Jonovich pack. <laughs> we talked about that pack <laughs> on the first episode. So <laughs> I I've been thinking about that. Like I don't go like more longer than a day to thinking about how she really married the guy that was directing Resident Evil oh, movies man. to secure the like, bag. That was a wild yeah. revelation, bro. Like I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know my voice could go to high. when I when I went back to edit that, I was like, Do I need to lower that? That's crazy. No, <laughs> oh, okay. I got nice. you. Uh Faye said, I'm telling you that Chris is a bio yeah, a bioorganic weapon. Like, like Tyron Mr. X Hunter. That makes sense. That would make that sense. That would Chris. actually mm. yeah. That would make mm. sense. That makes sense. Okay. That, yeah, okay. that could be crazy. That co- that almost kind of gives me. I, I'm here for that. Resident or not Resident Evil, uh, Devil May Cry. Four, like at the beginning of the game, you're playing as Nero, mm-hmm. and you're like going to the church, and like everything's yeah. all hunky dory, and then Dante <laughs> busts in, and he's like, "Yo, hey, what's up, priest? Wait, what's all this? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what a what game intro." <laughs> He off the priest yeah. in the prequel. <laughs> <laughs> that man, 
soul. Sorry, man. I'm a big <laughs> devil may cry. What's someone listening, yeah. bro? <laughs> yeah, that was that was hype. That was hype. <laughs> he was like, nah, it's just two. Bah, bah. Nah, it's just me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, nuts, bro. I, I remember playing that for the first time. Like, yo, he really just swan dived in here. Oh, he's dead. He shot the priest. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. My mom. Was dead. Okay, <laughs> make sure your mom's not around. I don't think she's jarring. Yeah, <laughs> jarring. Oh, yeah, indeed. Um, All right. What's up with Team Ninja, man? Go ahead, lead us to it. All right, Team Ninja. They are back to work on a lot of new titles that like that's in that's in quotes ladies and gentlemen a lot of new titles so um you know interview they're being questioned about it and um what is his name i hate fall oh, that's all i got go ahead finish what you're saying i just wanted to <laughs> let you guys know i hate it fall uh, right, it's the the team ninja lead yeah yasuda I don't know his first name, but yeah, yes, I don't know how to say his last he, name. He, so. <laughs> he's the the team ninja lead, and he was asked about, uh, you know, uh, one of those new titles that you're working on. Is it Neo Three or uh, Ninja Gaiden? Any of those, you know, older titles? And he really did not have a lot to say about those titles. He says uh. um, they'll eventually come back to Neo Three. But uh, for Ninja Gaiden, it was kind of along the same same thing he said with Neo. But, he, you know, he said there was nothing to announce at this time. Um, that and they didn't mention Dead or Alive. But I would like to see Dead or Alive come back in a good fashion. Because this latest one ain't it. Like, dog. All the DLC costumes costing like a hundred dollars per pack. And the rollout like of the DLC for Dead or Alive wasn't it? I think the gameplay was still all right. I think it was. Yeah, really? It's just the rollout, okay. the way they did it, was just jarring. Like, what kind of weird fragmented rollout is this? It was. It was weird. It didn't. It didn't work. Yeah, they, they got to do that better. But yeah, um, yeah. as far as well, Neo well, goes, I've played a little bit of Neo One, and I've played quite a bit of neo 2 uh it would definitely be dope to see a neo 3 uh have y'all played any other neo games when i had my four uh, i was on neo heavy uh two i haven't got a chance to get to but i i from the little bit that i saw i'm not sure two was as well received as one was um oh two got two got it? really good reviews it did okay uh, like you, yeah you could actually like create a character and like the combat system was like why does it feel like it just kind of went under the rug a little bit yeah, it, it did. It did kind of come and go, but it, it's really good. It's got really good reviews and everything. Yeah. Okay. I know I'm. I never got to play Neo, but I've seen a lot of Neo being played. I've seen mm. uh, the video the game, not the singer. <laughs> Paul wanted to make sure you knew that. <sighs> the rehab called blues. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I see you. I see. You. I got that too. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Paul. I know he was gonna say that. I, but um, I mean, yo. But speaking of real folk blues, it's a shame that's not on that vinyl, though. It's a shame. Is it not? No, it's um issues with like uh, I guess money, copyright uh, issues, stuff like that. It's whack. It's cool. I know where to find it on YouTube. It's fine. Yeah. You can't run from, can't run from me. You can't keep a good man uh, down. <laughs> It's fine. We'll it out. Uh, and then um I think that intro was good. I played it all the way to <laughs> Aye, bro. <laughs> what, is, what is this man? <laughs> is it is it is it crack? Is, is it cocaine? <laughs> Sorry, we're smoking. Okay, I'll check it. I tell you what it is. <laughs> Alright, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness i would like to see ninja to really like neo 3 would be cool right but i haven't played the second one yet so i still got time on that um mm. i would like another ninja Gaiden, bro yes i think see, that's really that, what i want like from team ninja or even that, another hellblade for real 
I'd be cool with another Hellblade. Oh, yeah. Well, they're, they're actually technically yeah, they're, working on one, right? Yeah, like, Hellblade so 2 coming. coming. That's coming. So, but uh, yeah, that's something I wanted to touch on as well. Is that Ninja Ninja Gaiden? Um, yeah, they definitely should get back to that series. Mm-hmm. Like, I personally think for the sake of Xbox, Xbox needs more killer apps, and Ninja Gaiden, like a new really good Ninja Gaiden, could be that. Xbox app, needs nothing. It has Gears Five, bro. It's the best game ever. Gears Five. This is a no cap zone, sir. Ah, uh, dang! I didn't see that. Uh, I didn't see that banner. <laughs> <across> the... <laughs> Apologies. No, well, I guess I'll shut up here. Um, <laughs> even with man. Gears Five doing the whole hey, um, the way that they make they let you choose the ending, I'm not going to spoil it. But, but um, well, you get you get the the choice. Um, something. Yeah, of something very, very important to the story. Um, even with that, man, I could, I don't know, man, it didn't hit right. Like, just something about Gears 5 didn't hit right, like the previous ones. Yeah, hmm. no, I agree. I don't just, know what it is. I never even I think, finished it, to be honest. Hmm. We, we finished it because we ended up playing it, yeah. uh, playing through it together, but it just, the way that the other ones kind of had a feeling of, okay, this is the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. And this one's kind of like, yeah, I mean, it might end, but, you know, you can, you, you, you can still figure something out. You, you, you'll be good. It'll yeah. be all right. It went from it's, like, it's like a, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I can't even say that. I can't even say that. <laughs> it was a long time. It was a the long story time. Was long as crap, some bro. Some of it was not the greatest. <laughs> it feels like I guess I'll say it this way. Paul said it's like it's the like the first four was like yeah it's the end of the world. Good luck. And this one's like mm-hmm. the way they double down on it's like it's the end of your world. But ah! everybody else might be all right uh, just because of how they do the ending. It's yeah yeah. So it's it's interesting, but um. I put it this way. Um, they're in the same bucket as Halo right now for me because I, I, I'm going to need something crazy to bring me back. I'm going to need yeah. something crazy to bring me back. That's where I'm at with yeah. it. Because Halo Infinite don't look like it's going to slap. No. Right. Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. Oh. Uh, I think they'll get it together. I mean, this is the... The and this is the anniversary year for Halo. Like they they have to knock this out the park. Yeah, you know pressure pressure no. bus pipes though. So you know I don't Dude. know or make diamonds. But it the last like time you got just... a diamond from Halo. Yeah. All right, I know I know we uh we on like a tangent of a tangent, but this just goes to show <laughs> that the next gen systems should have been delayed. That's all I got. Says I... says the guy with the PS Five. Yeah, I think that yeah. gives him even more yeah. of a yeah. Actually, yeah, that's just me, Kevin. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think a lot of stuff in the last year should have been delayed. If Avengers was delayed six months, it would be one of the best games y'all ever played. Uh, because some of the stuff that it does does really well. I, yeah. We are Avengers apologists here, me and Paul. I think we mm-hmm. just gonna just own it at this point. Um, if Cyberpunk would have actually started development, well, we'll get to Cyberpunk. Um. It's a, it's a few games that like if they just would have just waited, and I mean now that you say that I think the systems probably, but that's the thing they always do systems around like around holiday drops and stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. They could have delayed them a year. Like yeah. we really did not need them this soon. I don't you think. think you would have got enough games to last to the next year. We still we're still I getting mean, games barely... on PS4 and Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, like I right. I seriously think they should have delayed them a year. Honestly, like. It wouldn't have even mattered because at this point we're really not getting as many games because of the deadlining and because of all the pressure cooking that they've been doing anyway like they're getting away Mm -hmm. from that so we would have been probably better off hey let the studios get some extra time take extra care with that next gen and get some more titles ready that's why now we got series x's and they're just banking off of hey you can still play your xbox one games mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like i'm an xbox dude but that's what it is yeah 
And I'm, I mean, PS5, I would have like, been literally buying an S to just play Destiny 60 frames. Yeah. Yeah. And it shouldn't be like that. There's like, like no game I want to buy that's on new gen right now that I can't just play on the system that I already got. That I, that I actually, like, besides like Cyberpunk, right? Because I do want to try it mm-hmm. and play Cyberpunk, but that's I need cool. to play a version of Cyberpunk that's, you know, fixed. Hmm. Fingers well. crossed. Yeah, knock on wood. Yeah. Knock on wood there. Anyway. Would, would you look at that? <laughs> That's funny. It's funny how we're coming up to that, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what a, what, a, what what they say, what a coinky dink. What a coinky dink. <laughs> a coinky dink. Man. All right, so the last thing we'll talk about, like the main topic as far as this. Um, this isn't really gaming based. I mean, it is if you consider that Rampage was a game. Um, yeah, I remember Rampage back on the, on the N64. Yeah. 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 Hey, no, Godzilla just, vs. Kong know. look kind of crazy. Um. All right. So first and foremost, I have to apologize out the gate, right? Because initially, initially, I remember. I think I was eighty-eight. Is what I got to apologize to. I got to go ahead and I, I'll, I'll at him later and apologize because we had a conversation, and I was like, no, nah, I, I tweeted this, and I was like, there's no way that this is gonna be a fair fight because Godzilla literally ripped a monster's mouth open and blew fire into it, and I'm like, we, this this is over. This is dead. We should this shouldn't even be a thing. But it looked like they're making Godzilla the bad guy. Yes. Which. <sighs> and I, wow. I put in quotes. Yeah, quotes. Uh, because quotes. we know that. Um, like, I've, I've talked to. Shout out to Trav. But I talked with him a little bit earlier. And he's really big in these monster movies. And he was saying that usually in the older versions of these <laughs> movies, it's something antagonizing them. And then they kind of figure it out and then they take on the actual problem. I don't know if they're going to do that here because it is a quote unquote reimagination or whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. But from the trailer, from the trailer, from the one time I saw the trailer, it looks like they're painting Kong as a good guy. You know, the connection with the with the, with the, with the girl, you know, he, he touched mm-hmm. the handprint and all that, you know. And mm-hmm. then Godzilla came up and just started wrecking shop. So, well, I think I the thing that I that, peeped man. in the trailer um, that they talked about very briefly, because they did actually say it seems like Godzilla's. Uh, uh, they said Godzilla's attacking the city. It seems like he's being provoked by something. Yeah. And they actually alluded to there being a war. Yeah. Prior yeah. to everything, and yeah. Yeah. they said that these two are the last two standing. And I'm wondering. If it's like a situation where everything on Skull Island or, you know, that, you know, general area, they were all warring together and Godzilla was, you know, part of that. But was he like part of that in terms of he was one of the ones warring with the other Kongs? Was he on the side of the Kongs? Like what what role did he play? Because it looked like because they showed something something that kong was fighting on the island and it looked like something that godzilla had fought it looked like i think um what's the flying joint um mothra, not, mothra. mothra. it kind of looked like a little bit of a mothra mashup so it just it made so, me interested so, so it looked like, like a look like a little mo you remember in episode one when i said you gotta <laughs> act like he's not talking <laughs> 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 okay. I was all right. Like, for sure. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, but for real though, like I, I feel like I was one of those initially too, where I was like, why does this make sense? Godzilla r- ripped a monster's mouth open and blew fire down it, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's convincing enough to me. But I get it. Opposable thumbs, Kong now is because i saw i saw um this is titanus kong is what they're calling him and compared to the kong that was on kong's girl island buddy looked way bigger so he took like some steroids oh yeah he's been working out you got some wd-40 is he for them that, joints? he took steroids or this is like adult kong mm-hmm. which makes sense because they did kind of say that he was one of the babies Mm, okay well make it make sense to me because me being a godzilla person i like 
I immediately I see this and they're like, Godzilla, something's provoking him, you know, and I'm just like, man, why y'all gotta make a movie, bro? <laughs> like, it sucks. But nah, <laughs> it's just me being better. That's all it is. It's just me being better. It looks like it's gonna be cool, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm bitter, too, because, like, I 100% believe this trailer is propaganda. <laughs> I don't know why they why they painting my, my boy right. Godzilla as a bad guy like this. All right, yeah, fake news. And guys. I, you know, the whole opposable thumbs, blah blah blah. Godzilla, you know, he got thumbs in some of his variations too. Mm. I mean, and, this looks like a this looks mm. like a thumbful, uh, a, a thumbed, thumbed Godzilla. Yeah, he <laughs> looks like one of them. <laughs> but yeah, he. I mean, you know. He gonna be able to fight back, you know. King Kong, Bing Bong, whatever his name is. I got Godzilla. In I'm full. just saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm just saying. Godzilla had to bring out a broadsword. He couldn't just take him. Like he couldn't just square up with him. You feel me? He couldn't hit him with them binks. Yeah. You feel me? He had to pull uh, out the yaka. You know. I'm you know? just saying. Hey, he nah. really was jumping down with. And why him. was Godzilla aiming at the sword? Shoot him in his chest. Like uh, never mind. I can't wait for the movie. We're gonna see. I just have, and, I have questions. That's all. All right. I just uh, have uh, Paul, I have to watch the trailer again, but Paul, you brought up Godzilla being provoked by something. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's, and yeah. I, did y'all see the, like the stills where it's like, we might be getting Mecha Godzilla. Yeah. If, let like me, the, yeah. There's, let there's me, this one shot mm -hmm. with like Mecha Godzilla on the screen behind him. So I wonder if that's what's provoking him. That could be and interesting. Then, yeah. You know, like, in the middle of Godzilla oh, and King Kong so fighting, they both realize their mamas share the same name, and then they'd be like, "Oh wait, we gotta go fight I was Mexico. Just about to Let's say. go take him out." <laughs> That'd be nuts, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> God, Batman vs Superman. What a reference. <laughs> Yo, um, uh, salute to Joe Majesty. He left a, a comment in the chat. He says that. Uh, uh, basically, it looks like it is something behind Godzilla's behavior. And in the trailer, they do ask why Godzilla's attacking humans now. So mm. that makes sense. Yeah, that makes Especially sense. Especially after King of All Monsters, he was like defending them, and he was going ham. <laughs> he was yeah. going ham in King of All Monsters. Yeah. Yo, what <laughs> if what if it, what if they mama name is like like it sounds like Martha, but it's really Mothra, but like they try to spin it, Ooh. and they have a moment where like Godzilla is like. <laughs> And then they do the Japanese translation, and it's like Martha. And then we're just like, "Hey, right, never mind." Yeah, yeah. You see, you got you got to go. You got to let your brain go with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand. Like, if your third eye ain't woke, you're not gonna feel me. You know what I'm saying? I will read. <laughs> you gotta act like he not talking sometimes. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh one other thing that I want to touch on. Uh so like you you saw the the ship that was bringing in King Kong, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yo. How explain to me. Explain to me. The little girl. How no. was King Kong and Godzilla fighting yes. on that ship? Yes. That's Bro. like that's like a million pounds. That's more than a million pounds. That's like that's astronomical numbers. That ship should be at the <laughs> bottom of the ocean just off the strength of Godzilla putting his hand on it. I don't know, he man. It's a JP Morgan there, ship, bro. Like, was... if it can move crack, it can move, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to do that. <laughs> no. We, we're not going to act like JP Morgan ain't move a whole brick, <laughs> like a whole boatload of bricks. Well, that, across that the... did happen. All right. All right. That did yeah. happen. <laughs> Okay, never mind. That really happened. Three times in one. Okay, man. <laughs> I'm on a roll right now. <laughs> you feel me? Um, so it is what it is. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Big finish. Big fi are we done? All right, all right. Never mind then. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, you <laughs> I'm just saying it's something that I noticed. That's all. Anyway, um, I just present the news, guys. I don't know why you're getting so hung up about this. Um, hey, big finish, man. Uh, this is you reached a respect point because sometimes you get to a point where you know the skill trees leveled up. You feel me? But you got to tweak it a little bit. This is where we basically hit all of our topics that we weren't able to hit in the main docket. Y'all ready? 
Yep. We're going to do this quick. We're going to do this quick, and then we're going to be out of here. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Here we go. Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, uh, they pretty much dropped a new update, but in that update, <laughs> they did some cyberpunk stuff. Oh, um, They pretty much, it was large. It was patch 1.1. It's supposed to focus on stability fixes, but they introduced a game-breaking bug at the very beginning of the game. Thoughts? Uh, the game that keeps making headlines, man. Uh, I, I read in the article that that patch makes way for the next patch, so I guess you know they'll get another chance to fix it. Ha! Ah, <laughs> death, <laughs> taxes, delays, and cyberpunk breaking their games. Like it's literally like when you get to the point if you try to reload it for some people, the save just disappears. Mm, that's that's nuts! Ah, so they fixed that's it. Tough. <laughs> they did. It. How does they that fixed work? the game for you. It's not <laughs> they a... said, "Hey, just stop playing it." Oh my <laughs> gosh, bro! King King of Fighters 15. They dropped my Tunkin. I don't. Uh, what is it? My Tenkin, I believe, as a trailer, and we finally got gameplay for KOF KOF 15. So we got to see a little bit of it. You guys get to check it out. Yep, it looked dope seeing more of what it actually will play like, but still 15 second trailer basically can't do much with that <laughs> it was better than the last trailer it was what like almost a minute long i think yeah and yeah we we got to see a little bit more and i i have to say it looks pretty like that stage that they showed with that character it looks pretty it is a beautiful game yeah, yeah. Well, it is a pretty game. I think uh, I saw, I think Max, again, was talking about it. And uh, one of the big things, he was kind of talking about how, like, the lighting's a little bit different. Um, mm -hmm. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, we're going to see how everything goes as far as gameplay and all that. But I just need to see more game. I want to see, like, a full match of two characters fighting each other. That's Same. what I want to see, and then I'll right. be good. And then I'll be straight. But speaking of seeing full matches and uh, not seeing them, Mortal Kombat player, um, he got disqualified from uh, a, a pro league competition. He put as his name, why did NRS do this? In order to highlight a broken character. Um, they called it halfway through and they pretty much just kicked him out of the tourney. <laughs> what do you think about that, Paul? <laughs> oh, man. Talk about an automatic advancement through your top eight. <laughs> that's a that's, free space that's the buy uh, right like loser bracket hey and like he didn't even get loser bracket bro he just got escorted out escorted out jazzy jeff hit the stump grab the hook you you hate to see it but why did nrs do this i'm sick <laughs> i mean jeff. yeah you hate to see it but you know rules rules are rules i guess you can't just enter in the tournament and make fun of the people who make it Look at you establishing law and whatnot. <laughs> well, you would be the guy to be like, well, you know what? Rules are rules, and you gotta follow the rules. Like, <laughs> bro, gotta go, go. Ah, never mind. Um, I just, I thought it was funny. Um, I don't think that initially he did it as like a. I think he was just doing it as a troll, and then out of nowhere, it just he got escorted out, and he was like, oh well, if I had known that, I would have just changed my name. And they were like, no, don't worry about it. We'll see you next time. We got it. <laughs> we'll see catch you later. later. Yeah, we'll catch you in the next uh, tournament. Uh, it's about a month from now. You got time. Warm up. Get, pick a different variation, maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Sony, um, Sony's initially was uh, pretty much uh, sending out cease and desist on third parties and companies, specifically people trying to make like face plates and designs for PS5. Um, do you think that's going to be something that's going to affect things going forward with Sony? I'm gonna kick that to Jeff. Uh, I, I don't, I don't really think so. Um, I mean, they they may do this eventually, like the whole faceplate thing. They may do that eventually, but uh, you know, it just comes down to licensing, you know. Yeah. Paul. Yeah, I feel like you know, going back to the 360 days where you know you could actually clip on different faceplates for your for the front of your 360 it it's something that they want to be in control of because they know a lot of people want to do it and they want to have the ability to customize their stuff and unfortunately capitalism over customization mm -hmm. yep 
Yeah, that makes sense. That sounds like one of those things like we were talking about earlier with the Apple versus uh, Android thing. And like yeah. stuff mm-hmm. like this reminds me. I'm like, yo, I really think that Sony's Apple. Like, this sounds like a, a in this a, regard. A, I agree. Apple situation to me, to yeah. me at least. No, I agree. I agree. Vicarious visions. The people that are really like responsible for some of the best content in Destiny Two, also responsible for the remake of Tony Hawk Pro Skater One and Two. I've recently been absorbed uh, by Blizzard, and they are hype. I think they are uh, reviving Diablo Two. Is the is the rumor right now? Any Diablo 2 players in here? Just me? Okay, cool. Never I've mind. played a little bit of 2. Uh, Diablo 3 is probably the one I've played the most. Yeah. But um, I I think this is really cool for them because when that news initially came out, everybody was like, oh, my God, they're being absorbed to do Overwatch skins or something. So, Bro, the post is worried, <laughs> man. Like, that's a real worry. And the designs you know. will be fire, but I'm like, yo, Overwatch, man? Like, look, can we get another game? <laughs> like, I mean, I'd, something? I'd be worried mainly <laughs> because, you know, they did that remake for Tony Hawk and they like they single handedly brought back Crash Bandicoot. Like to waste all that talent to make Overwatch skins, like come on. They now. did bring back Crash. So, good. Yeah, good I'm point. I'm good glad point. glad they gave us, you know, uh they told us exactly what's gonna happen, basically. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh Diablo three was the only Diablo that I got to play. I did not get to watch any Diablo two, so that's neither here nor there for me. However, if that means I can't get a Tony Hawk Pro Skater 6 or an Underground remake. I'm sick. I'm real sick. But do you do you need a, a new Tony Hawk? I would like it. Cuz like, I mean Skater okay. XL was cool, but you can't play that online and I like yeah. playing Pro Skater 1 and 2 online with the homies. Yeah, that was one of the fun things is being able to do that. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. I guess my thing is I, I'm I like the I, I love the remakes, but just I just remember by the time we got to Tony Hawk Pro Skater Four, like we was like, okay, this feels kind of you know kind of regurgitating a little bit of the same stuff. It didn't feel like as fun as the first three, to me. That's fair. So that's why I'm like, if they do a new one, I need them to like care. That's but if true. Vicarious yeah. Visions got it, I feel like it'll be okay. Yeah. Mm. So, last thing, Catch guys. 22. Well, yeah, yeah. Last thing, guys. And after that, we're gonna we're gonna open it up to see if anybody got any questions in the chat. Um, last thing, GameStop stocks, bro. I don't know if you guys have paid attention to this crap, but it's wild when you have the highest month you've ever had trading because people are banking on you to fail. <laughs> So with GameStop stocks, I'll explain this super, super, super short. Long story short, people do this thing called it's basically short selling. What they do is that they'll buy a stock um, and then pretty much it's like an IOU. There's a couple other legal terms that go into this. Long story short, if a lot of people are buying the same stocks, then they, they owe each other. and They have to keep buying in order to cover from themselves, which makes the stock jump. It's artificial. It's not real. But GameStop stocks don't when they jumped up to almost like i want to say 69 dollars mm. a share or something like mm. that to put that in comparison they were at like 21 earlier this year so all that means is that people were expecting gamestop to just fail so bad that they put pretty much fallaciously <laughs> fallaciously is that right is that what i want to say yeah whatever mm-hmm. um something like that yeah something like that you gotta know language or remix it you feel me um but basically <laughs> Like, it's just a nut situation. And, of course, it would be GameStop that's at the middle of all of this. Do you guys even care? Uh, this just in. Uh, stonks are up. And uh, Funko Pops are selling. <laughs> yeah, that many Funko listen, Pops in the world, boss. Listen, well, actually, there is. There is. Let me not even you say right. that. There's so many I, Funko I just, Pops. You see they dropped really, the Shikamaru one? Yeah, I did. I saw that. It's a... Uh, okay. Oh! Oh! Ah! Bow! Dang, to show up. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the got the Spider Man right here. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Hold on. You're not gonna flex on my channel. Hold on. <laughs> hey man, Stunk's going up while he while he grabbing his Funko Pop. Hey man. Hey bro, I'm gonna just hold on a second. I'm just gonna show y'all Bob Ross real quick. You feel me? 
Oh, oh, I was about to show you this. Spidey oh, 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 I'm sorry. I meant, I meant Bob Ross. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> I'm out here. I get them in pairs. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the pairs. You know I mean? Shout out to all the pairs. The pairs. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick. You really got that. <laughs> Nah, man, y'all got anything else, man? We we've been running for a little bit, so I want to make sure we got everything. We covered everything. Anything else that we missed? Um, nothing comes to mind. Yeah, yeah I, think we're we're solid. Solid. I think I think we I mean, hit... other than that, that GameStop thing. I kind of wish I would have got in on it a little bit earlier, but it's you know it's cool. It don't. It's gonna drop in like a week, bro. They like literally froze yeah, it, so don't even trip. GameStop. They just won't die. Ah, just hold out. Wait till digital gets a little bit more rolling. Uh, he might, he might. Uh, I, I'm surprised GameStop still around, bro. I'm gonna just be completely honest. Like two, three years, yeah. I'm just like, I don't know. They gotta do something drastic. They gotta do something yeah, drastic. For real. Yeah. So, anyway, that's all, guys. Well, we go ahead and cut this right here. Is there? It? So we got through everything. This is the end of the Skill Tree, a gaming podcast. We have been your hosts. You can find me. St. Louis rolling no boob. No, no, sorry, I knew, my bad. I knew it. I, I knew it, it. How can you not? How can you not? All right. Um, <laughs> K1NGELJAY on all platforms. Uh, King LJ Gaming, if you want to connect on Twitter as well. But pretty much those are probably going to be consolidated soon. So just chill out where you at. Uh, Jeff, where can everybody find you, man? Boy, uh, Jeff, aka Ghoulface, mm. aka, aka uh, uh, King LJ. Nemesis and Street Fighter, mm, you know but saying? not Arch Nemesis. Mm. But not, not Arch Nemesis. Uh, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Ghoulface. That's uh, G H zero U L F A C E, and uh, also on uh, Twitch at that same name, but Ghoulface underscore. Gotcha. And Paul, what's up, man? Where they, where you at? Hey, man, you find me on Twitch, on Twitter, okay. on, on Instagram, Twitch, right? on. Yeah, all those are the same one. The only one that's different is YouTube. But anywho, you can find me on all of those platforms at J I B R I H A S H I M. Starting back up to Twitch very soon. Starting back to uploading on YouTube soon. So, you know, get, get locked in. Get locked in. This has been the Skill Tree, a gaming podcast sponsored by the Geek Dojo and the Lightwork Company. We appreciate you guys listening. And we will see y'all next week. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace.